dear students in this video i will teach you how to write formula of a simple mononuclear complex from its iupac name i have written here two examples so we will discuss about them one by one the first one is nitro penta amine cobalt 3 nitrate by seeing the name itself you come to know that whether the complex is cationic or complex is anionic like by seeing its name you are coming to know that it is a cationic complex all right dear students uh, whether we have cationic complex or we have anionic complex there is no difference in the rule now so first of all we are going to write the cation since we are coming to know that cation is a complex part so we will close this cationic part we'll start this cationic part with a bracket then the first thing to be written is the symbol of the central metal atom or ion here central metal atom is cobalt so i'll write here co now rest all things are ligand now you try to find out which ligands are present nitro is one ligand amine is one ligand all right now question comes in which order we will write the ligands to write the ligands dear students i'll tell you a simple rule the rule is called as anc rule what is this anc rule we report anionic ligands first anionic ligands first then we report neutral ligands and then we report cationic ligands this is very very important rule when we write particular formula of a complex cationic ligand so we'll follow this anc rule here since we know nitro carries a negative charge so it is an ion amine is a neutral ligand so as per the rule we'll report an ion first so our an ion is no2 so after cobalt i'll report no2 will enclose the small bracket now penta amine amine are five in number so nh3 whole five all the ligands got over that means cationic part is over so we enclose it in bracket now your next job is to calculate the charge on the cation in order to calculate charge on the cation you need to consider the oxidation number of the central metal ion as well as the charge over ligands ammonia carries amine carries zero charge now you have nitro as a ligand which carries negative 1 and cobalt's oxidation state given to you is plus 3 so dear students the total charge will be coming on this cation will be plus 2 so we report here two positive charge now we'll uh, write the anionic part of the complex the anion is nitrate no3 minus now to write the final formula of the complex as per the rules taught in the lower classes valencies will be interchanged so as a result the final formula of the complex becomes in the bracket co no2 nh3 whole 5 bracket closed no3 carries one charge so nothing will be coming here and on the cation two positive is present here so it will be inter in interchanged so no3 whole twice so this becomes the formula of this example now we'll move on to the next example our next example is sodium tetrafluoride dihydroxo chromate 3 so by seeing the formula only we are coming to know that it is an anionic complex anionic complex means its anion is a complex ion as i told there is no difference in the rule same anc rule will be following here but as per the general rules will report the positive ion first so positive ion here is na plus followed by will write the negative ion now since negative ion is the complex ion so we enclose in the bracket 
we report the central metal atom or ion first so here we have chromate means chromium is present now we'll identify the ligands one ligand is tetrafluorido that means f minus which are total four in number then we have dihydroxo dihydroxo means oh minus which will be two in number so we'll report them here now here uh, both the ligands are anionic ligands that means we have ligands of same nature now question comes which will be reported first so here we follow dear students alphabetical order so as per the alphabetical order fluorido will be reported first so f 4 oh hold twice all the ligands got over so we will enclose uh, close this in the bracket now we'll have to calculate the charge over this anion so in order to calculate charge we'll do the same kind of calculation oxidation number of chromium given to you is 3 plus 3 now f carries minus 1 they are 4 in number so minus 4 then oh carries minus 1 they are 2 in number so minus 2 so on calculation dear students it comes minus 3 so anion has the charge 3 minus now to write the final formula of the complex the interchange of the valencies will take place so on interchanging the valencies the formula becomes Na3 Cr F4 OH whole twice bracket closed. I hope these examples are very very clear to all of you.